Somebody needs to say something. What is it? Huh? What? Okay. I think she needs some food. The reason I'm making this video is because I did a review on this Cheaty Plus 4 and it garnered quite a bit of attention. I wanted to revisit this and let you know what I found out about it and what I've learned since I purchased it. I've had it since the uh, beginning of the year basically. I was having issues with the PLA not wanting to stick. I figured that out. I'll put a, a link to that review so you guys can take a look at it and see. It's, it's not a terribly long video. I did purchase this. I didn't have this sent to me. And I think that's what probably got people's eye is that, you know, most of the people who were reviewing it at the time were reviewing one that had been sent to them. And, you know, sometimes you may or may not get the best review. When it was shipped, I think what happened is the bed got out of adjustment. And so I did a bed adjustment, which is called calibration in the software. And uh, that fixed the issue. I was still not happy with finding a place here and there where it didn't want to stick or it was was kind of peeling up a little bit when i was printing so i went ahead and got some aquanet <laughs> the stuff works really well you really don't see it when you spray it on there you could probably see in my old video there was there's quite a bit of glue that i had used a, a brush and i thinned the glue out with water and i painted almost painted it on it was really too thick but that was all I had at the time. Since then I purchased some Aquanet and I can hit this thing every now and then with Aquanet and then it solves the problem. But I'm only having that problem really on PLA and I think it's because I haven't purchased anything new in quite a while and so that PLA is pretty old. I've had a lot of people comment and tell me that you use isopropyl alcohol to clean that plate. That'll help or that'll fix the problem. Uh, I've had tell people tell me to use acetone that i've used acetone i have some here for work it definitely cleans the plate i would still find an occasional spot where especially if i'm printing something fairly difficult then i would notice every now and then i'd have a spot that was sticking up i'm super happy with the way it's working and i don't mind you know putting a little bit of aquanet on there this stuff smells like mosquito spray that's what it smells like i don't know why anybody would want that in their hair but Apparently it's it's pretty sticky. I want to share some things that I figured out mainly because I, I primarily print with PETG. I like that product because it's a little softer and a little more durable for a lot of the things that I'm printing. Those prints are, are super intricate. I mean they're going to be easy to break no matter what but I don't want to be, to be any more rigid so somebody bumps it or whatever that it just snaps off so that's the main reason why i like petg the biggest payoff for me was being able to print multiple items at once and super fast i'll show you what i was making so this right here is a core for a high voltage transformer and this goes in a, a fence charger and that's what i was making are these cores the inner core and the outer core of the bobbin and so I'll wind those bobbins up. And what I was having problems with on the Creality is, you know, these things peeling up. And I was, you know, wanting to use ABS. And it was just so difficult to use ABS on the Creality that I decided to just use PETG. But now the main type of uh, plastic that I want to use for this sort of thing is, is ABS. It's a little bit stronger and a little more rigid it turns out better when i use abs on these since i do some 3d printing for selling uh, items locally this thing has been a game changer for me the longest print i've done is a 10 hour print and that used to just rack my you know nerves whenever i would try to print something that long on the creality because inevitably something would go wrong now basically never wanted to print anything that was more than you know five or six hours long so the print that came out on the Cheaty was perfect. I mean, as perfect as you can get it. So I had no problem running this. And I, I know there are people who've run really lot, a lot larger prints and for a lot longer print time. This so far, 10 hours has been about the, the longest I've printed. So I've been really happy with the performance. I feel like this is going to be a printer that will last a very long time, but since it's only three months, 
I'll have to come back later and let you know what I think about it. I've been working on my TD Plus 4 and just tweaking it, making sure I could get all the settings right. And I've been using this uh, translucent or semi-clear PETG. And this stuff was a little bit difficult because uh, I didn't dry it and it was a little stringy. And so my first print that I started working with this material, I ended up stopping the print because you can see all the stringing going on in the letters. I was trying to get that better. I did a little bit of research and noticed someone had the retract setting at 70. I tried that. When I did that, it completely changed the whole thing and made it so much better. So I started uh, printing off. I've got a couple of things I want to show you. This is just the tree that was holding the foot of this Roadrunner. And you can see all the nails came out perfect. Of course, I just make little signs and stuff. I still have to take all that support material off, but that was the first thing I took off because I thought, well, for sure I'm going to break those. Let me move this out of the way. I've got a bit of a mess from work. This is the one that I printed first after getting the settings correct. You can see how nice that turned out. The other thing I've been getting a lot of comments on since I put out my video is how I'm printing with this machine. It's not really hot in here. This room is fairly exposed to the elements. I mean, it's there's a lot of air that blows in because these windows are from the 70s and uh, they're not very tight. This room isn't really heated or cooled. It's basically my workspace. People are telling me I need to take this off completely. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe in the summer that needs to be taken off. But honestly, all I've done is crack it here and this works great for me me for the PETG and the PLA it lets the heat out and it will draw cooler air from the bottom so this is working great I can see in the future where if it gets hot in this room I'm probably gonna have to crack the door open or take this off or build something I don't like the idea of taking this off I mean my room's a mess because this is where I'm constantly working on electronics and stuff and I'm getting all these boards in and, and things like that this is my workspace yeah, it's a mess. I basically don't want to set that glass down somewhere and, and accidentally break it. I would much prefer a method, get the gap big enough to let it breathe in the summer. And I'll tinker with that, probably come up with something. Looky there. These are pretty low poly. What I'm trying to do is just make sure whatever my final build is, is easy to print. Listen to that. Something that's easy to print and I can mass produce as needed because we don't sell a ton of this stuff what we do sell helps out i like these little tornadoes look at that so obviously the magnet goes in there pretend there's no mess behind me yeah see this this works great so happy with my printer Let's take a look at this little stuff here some basic things it's not super detailed as you can tell what I like about it is the texturing and the basic shape I think eventually I'll go ahead and and uh, do a little bit more on the on the nose the mouth and the eyes because that's really all it needs to finish it up you still sleeping uh oh mama's home this is just an example of what I'm talking about. There's so much airflow in here. So when you guys are worried about my health is in danger, look how much dirt is blown on this from yesterday. We had a huge, huge dust storm, which I don't, I don't like the idea of this thing getting dusty, but I'm still in the process of putting windows in my house. Look at the difference. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of airflow in here. So when I leave it in this enclosure and I'm only cracking it open, that's mainly because there's a, a ton of airflow in this room. So let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Monster. There's a monster in here. Anyway, catch you on the next one.